Hey guys and welcome to Fez Air Software. Today I'm going to unbox this SEMA CM028 AK variant. Hi guys and welcome back. If you do enjoy this video today, please do like and subscribe because you'll be really helping me out. Uh, a lot so this is another unboxing from the recent 500 pound um, Taiwan gun order uh, that we did hopefully you've seen that video if not go back and check it out and see what kind of goodies were in there uh, this is a user request again where one of my subscribers asked for this specific model to be uh, unboxed so I've got one in and I do love AK so I'm quite looking forward to seeing this so this is a little bit more expensive than the budget budget ones that we've got in I think I can't remember if it was like 70 or 80 pounds. I will put links below. So the box is definitely a little bit nice quality. You've obviously got pictures of it on the underneath. It is just a polystyrene tray. But we've got you know pictures around the, there just demonstrating what it is. So let's get inside of here. And we've got as Taiwan gun usually include a target and a little bit of safety information. And they've got a chrono sheet. I asked for this one specifically to be downgraded to below 350, obviously, because I'm in the UK. And they've got it to um, sort of, you've got like 331, 324, I'm guessing that is, 329, 336, 335, 342. So I'm really happy that that is bang on where I wanted it to be. I'm really, really happy with that. Um, so that's great. So it, obviously it was cellophane wrapped, but the guys at Taiwan Gun have been and downgraded it, which is a free service they offer. Um, and there it is. Now, initially, I'm not ultra mega keen on the greyness of it, and it's almost like a silvery grey. Um, but not to worry, because longer term, this is going to be a project for me, and it's going to get painted up, and it's going to be a, a bit of a fun loadout, shall we say. Uh, I will make videos on it when I do it, and I'm sure people will cringe, um, but it'll be well worth it. I've also got some upgrades planned for the gearbox as well, uh, just because uh, despite it being a joke uh, loadout, I want it to uh, be quite a fearsome piece of kit. So, it is mostly plastic externals. Uh, you have got quite a, f a, a bit of metal on it though, as well in, in places. So, all of the front assembly here, uh, you've got your gas block, obviously your outer barrel, uh, your front side, all of these parts are all metal. You've got fake wood um, furniture, so you've got your hand grip, your fore grip, you've got your pistol grip and your stock. Now, at a distance, you could probably be sort of forgiven for mistaking it as probably being wood, but when you get within this sort of range, you're going to see quite easily it is most definitely not wood. But it's not terrible quality. Uh, it's not quite as nice as the fake wood stock that they put on their M14 variant. Uh, so, we've got metal top cover. Metal uh, front leaf sight that is adjustable, um, not that we aim when we're using AKs, we just kind of point and things die in airsoft, because uh, we're that good with AKs. Um, so we'll remove the top cover and just have a quick look under there. That is quite a stiff push, that's, that's quite nice, that, that takes as much pressure as it does. You've got your traditional um, top cover in there that you get, it's like a traditional uh, Tokyo Marui style AK. And then you've got what looks to be a plastic hop unit adjustable hot unit uh, quite loose adjustment so we might need tightening down a little bit just to make sure that it stays secure a plastic hot unit obviously we've gone for the sort of blanked out mag well so that when you put your mag in it is easy to just locate it and lock it in let's get that out of the way it is a metal high cap as well which is quite nice the charging handles metal it's just uh, and then your selector is also metal as well. Um, the externals don't wow me. I'm not mega keen on the, the, the greyness of it. The wood looks okay. But it, other than a tiny bit of creak in the handguards, because they do move a little bit, there's no real creak. There's no like terrible wobbling or anything like that. So it does feel really solid. It, you know, I don't feel like I'm suddenly going to break this in any way, shape or form. So first impression... It's fairly solid, I'm quite impressed with that. Other things you get in the box, you've got the charger, which is obviously an EU type. You've got a mini type battery, because it's stock based. So that's an 1100 8.4 NIM type battery. I'll go and charge this up in a minute and we'll film um, just what it's like with this. Obviously keep in mind this was filmed during the coronavirus lockdown in the UK, so I can't actually go out and fire it. Nice metal high cap, um, you know, Simon are renowned for making good quality uh, AKs and, and parts and things. And then you've got a sling, which 
Um, they're okay, but all the ones I've ever used out of the box have broken by the end of the first day. Uh, maybe I'm just in a klutz, whatever, never mind. So, we know that it's chrono in it is. I'm gonna come back in a second and I'll charge the battery and we'll uh, see what the rate of fire is like. So, been and charged this up, put it through my charger, got this charged up and we'll see what the rate of fire is like. So the battery on this is in the stock, so you just pop this top cover down. And then we've got the Mini Tamiya. So there is, you could probably get what used to be like a, a, a NIM type large battery in there. There's quite a lot of room in there, squeaky uh, polystyrene. So connect that battery up, safe nothing, we'll go to single shot first and full auto. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty decent, that. So that was the 7.4. Just had to run and get my other batteries. So we've now got the, no, that was the 8.4. We've now got the 7.4 uh, LiPo. Again, that will fit in there really easily and there's loads and loads of room in there. So you could get a fairly decent sized LiPo in there to run all day if you wanted. So I'll just hook that up. Put in there. So save, single, full auto. There's not a lot of difference, uh, as we've seen with other things, between the, the included NIM type and the, the 7.4 uh, volt LiPo, but it just seems to tick over that little bit nicer. There's a little bit more snappiness to it. Um, and obviously it's a, a lower voltage, but giving you the better power because it's powering the gun better. So the last one then we're going to try is the 11.1. I even managed, that has sat in there now, it's a, possibly a little bit long to leave in there uh, properly. Well, maybe not actually, but I could actually get the wires in there. But that is an 11.1 that's sat in there now. And there's still, you know, potentially room that I could get that wired in properly. We know where this is going to go, so safe, single shot. That, really nice snappy. We know where this is gonna go. Oh, yes. That, wow. Oh, double shot then. Back to normal again. So obviously, as we've seen with some AK variants, it doesn't uh, always play nice with an 11.1, and uh, we occasionally get a double shot on single. Now, if you're looking for an entry point into Airsoft and you've got a little bit more money, I'd, Probably hazard a guess at saying that obviously it is based off the original Marui stuff, but it is very solidly built and it, it feels really nice to hold. There's a fair bit of weight to it. You've got a lot of metal work on there. Um, the plastic of the stock, you know, is not going to be the most amazing. It, it will break if you, especially if you fall on it, as I'm prone to do. I'm, I'm quite clumsy, um, but it's obviously relatively solid it's got a large capacity in bat and for a battery in there if you want a longer term you could even rewire it to just stick a battery in the top and you could if you want to change the stock type or whatever you can even get full wood kits to put it in it as well so i'm actually largely impressed with that um i'll look forward to seeing what it performs like to see if it's it's worth the extra sort of uh 20 or so pounds that it cost over the the, the budget budget ones um uh, but that's looking a nice uh, piece of kit actually, uh, and it's gonna make a good basis for my project uh, that I've got in mind. So I'll leave the usual photos. If that's been helpful or useful to you, or you've enjoyed it, please do like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.